Hi guys, uh, today our topic is 5G NR, initial access and how we use beam forming uh, in 5G. Uh, and we will discuss uh, different strategies of uh, beam forming uh, as if uh, common, uh, narrow and uh, wide beam. And how uh, the concept of beam sweeping is used in terms of initial access and how the different channels are mapped onto uh, different beams. So the first uh, part in any network and also in 5G NR is uh, how the initial access works. And if you are considering that if we are in an NSA mode, uh, so we will write it here. If you are in an NSA mode, that is your non-stand alone mode, then the initial uh, context, um, initial request for the network will be on the LTE network and once uh, you are attached to the LTE, uh, LTE uh, cell, then you basically communicate uh, with the 5G uh, secondary cell. So the first thing uh, that uh, the UE needs to have uh, are three things. Uh, first is PSS, then is your SSS and then is your PBCH. Your PSS is your primary synchronization signal, your SSS is your secondary synchronization signal and PBCH is your physical uh, broadcast channel. So in LTE we have a block, it's certain PRBs and subcarriers and this block is basically uh, defined only to contain your primary synchronization signals, your secondary synchronization signals and your PBCH. And it has to be noted that these are the only always on signals or always on channels in 5G NR. So they will always be transmitted from the base station so that your UE can access the 5G network. So now uh, we will go through uh, the concept of beam forming very quickly that how that beam forming works in 5G NR. So what happens is that uh, the first is wide beam. So in terms of uh, accessing the network if this is your transmitter so there will be multiple beams like this and what happens is uh, that with time uh, like first your cell will be transmitting this beam then it will go from here to this beam then to this beam so in this way the whole cell radius will be covered uh, in terms of uh, different reference signals so it is not like it is sweeping the beam uh, like a radar actually it is uh, in time transferring the radiation pattern from one location to the other so there are three beams a uh, wide beam a uh, common beam and then your narrow beam the common beam is your consistent coverage area for any 5g nr and it will remain consistent your wide beam will be used for your beam sweeping and this is used for your csi rs so any uh, information uh, about your channel for the reference signal will be based in, in your initial access on the wide beam. So once uh, your mobile is connected to the um, 5G network and it has to get some data, then uh, it will have the narrow beam. So the narrow beam will have, you can say like this, and this is your UE. And then on the narrow beam, uh, the reference signals will be transmitted and then the channel can be estimated and the narrow beam can be, uh, you can say, adjusted to a particular user. So all the interference is cancelled out. So uh, in a summary for 5G, we use PSS, SSS, PVCH for your initial access and then we use uh, the 5G advanced beam forming techniques to have initial access and then have the narrow beam for data channel. Usually in 5G for your PDSCH that is your physical downlink shared channel and your PUSCH that is your physical uplink shared channel 
for both of them uh, narrow beams are used because these are user specific channels and narrow beams will be used to direct it to a particular user and give them the maximum SINR and the maximum throughput and for your common channels for example the channels which are used by all the cells in the areas for example common control channels and uh, other broadcast channels your common beam is usually used and then for your dedicated uh, or some particular other common channels your wide beam or you can say in other words beam sweeping is used to communicate that information with these characteristics 5g uh, provides better SANR and better performance uh, than LTE although the antenna systems are way more complicated and as compared to LTE so uh, that was our uh, next lecture in 5GNR and we will be coming up with uh, some other topics in LTE and 5G but this ends our series for 5G with our fifth lecture I hope you guys liked it and to subscribe to our channel and leave your comments thank you so much